we arrived in Northam and Craster for our what was May May Spring bank holiday, holiday weekend. Yeah. Uh, we were there for the week. Um, we'd just literally parked the car, the caravan up, reverse caravan into the pitch. Uh, the kids had jumped out to go and play up on the up on the field. Um, we disconnected the caravan from the car. I, I I went to reposition the car to park it up across the front of the caravan. We, we're not really sure how Owen ended up, where he ended up, but he ended up under the uh, passenger side, front front wheel. Um, my wife Claire uh, sort of screamed at me to, to reverse the car away, uh, which I did. We jumped out, had a look at him. Uh, he looked in a pretty bad way. Didn't really expect an air ambulance on the scene, uh, but it arrived probably bang on 16 minutes, along with the um, paramedics in the cars. I said we stepped back, and left it to, to air ambulance. We, we were fantastic, and then basically they got whisked away to hospital. I broke my collarbone, six ribs, and my, and my lungs. Yeah, my lungs and two lungs. But when he came round from his induced coma, he said it was awesome that he'd been in a helicopter. <laughs> Finally got to see it, hadn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time. <laughs> your, your, your fitness levels, I think, with his lungs aren't up 100%. I think, I think, That'll just take time, I think. I think that's it? just taking time just to re rebuild his, his lung, lung strength and everything like that. Your, your, your arm, your, well, your collarbone. My collarbone hurts sometimes. Sometimes when you cough, doesn't it? We didn't realise how separately funded um, the air ambulance service was, but they, they worked together, the NHS and this air ambulance service, uh, flawlessly, seamlessly. It were, it were treatment were just second to none. Really, it was class.